Hey babe, welcome back to my channel. My first video of 2018 is this glitter glam makeup look that I did on New Year's Eve. I posted a selfie on Instagram and I got a lot of good feedback from you guys, so I decided to create this tutorial for you all. To start this look out, I'm going in with this MAC eyeshadow palette and I'm grabbing this brown shade here. I have no idea what this eyeshadow palette is called, but I will have it linked down below in my description box if you're interested in checking it out. So I'm first taking that brown shade on my Sigma E35 brush, placing this into my crease and just blending that upward into my transition area. After that, I'm going in with this dark brown shade from that palette and I'm using that same brush to apply this into my crease area. And I'm basically just going to build up these shadows. I did start out with my brows and my eyes already primed before this video and all of those products will be listed below as well. Now I'm going in with this black shade out of this palette and I'm concentrating this in my crease and I'm also going to bring it down onto the outer part of my lid, kind of in my outer V area and then I'm just going to go up and around and blend that out into my crease. This is going to help me really build up that definition for when I put the glitter, it's going to really pop against this black shadow. So after that, I'm just moving on to the next eye and basically just repeating those same steps. So placing the shadow in my crease and my outer V area and then just blending it out, going up and around and then back and forth. And I'm usually a fan of MAC shadows, but these were kind of hard to blend out and to get an even blend with, which is why it's taking me so much work to get this like nice and seamless. Now I'm going in with the concealer that I use to clean up my brows, which is my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 30. And I'm using this to cut my crease. So I'm first going in and just lightly applying the concealer so that I can map out how big I want this area to be. And then once I kind of have an idea of how I want it to look, I do go in with a bit more concealer so I can mute out any shadows that are beneath it. So after that, I'm taking this Itty Bitty Sigma blending brush and I'm using this to apply some more of that black shadow right on top of the area that I just cut out. I want the glitter on my lids to really pop and of course, since it's glitter, it's gonna pop on its own, but I feel just adding a little bit more of that black is really going to look good against that glitter. So now I'm taking the lightest shade out of that MAC eyeshadow palette and I'm just placing this all over my lid with my Sigma shader brush. And I do have a 10% off coupon code for you guys if you're interested in trying any of Sigma's brushes. I will list all the brushes that I'm using in this video and their purpose down below in the description box. And I will also leave a link in that coupon code so you guys can do some shopping. Once I get that shadow applied, I do go back in and add a little bit more of that black. Like I said, I really want this eyeshadow look. So now for my wing liner, I'm using my Kat Von D ink liner. And I do like the ink liner a lot better than the tattoo. It does have a felt brush instead of like a bristle brush. So it makes it a lot easier to apply. And it also dries down matte where the tattoo liner dries down with kind of like a shine to it. So this one is definitely my favorite. Favorite. 
And once I get my wing finished, I'm going in with my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Pen. And this one is in the shade Steel Spark. So it's kind of like silvery, but it's more of like a dark gray type of silver. Originally when I did this look, I used my Urban Decay Silver Glitter Liner, but I misplaced it and I couldn't find it for this tutorial. So I decided to use this Revlon one and it did okay, but it didn't stand out like I wanted it to. So I went in with this loose glitter and I think I got this from like Bolt Glitters or Glitter World or something like that about two years ago for like a dollar for the whole jar. And I'm just going in and placing it over that Revlon um, photo ready eye art pen while it's still wet so that I don't have to add any glitter glue adhesive. Once I get the glitter on my lid, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter in the shade Global Glow and I'm applying this on my brow bone to go ahead and finish out my eyes and I will also be using this on my face later on in the video. And now I'm applying my lashes, which I already applied my lashes on my first eye, so now I'm just doing my second eye. And these are from one of my subscribers. Her brand is called Candy Coated by Jasmine D, and these are her Mango Mama lashes. So I will have all of her information down below in the description box so you can check out her lashes. You guys, they are so, so bomb, and I absolutely love them. So now time to move on to complexion. So I first took my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, which is my favorite primer of all time. I use it every single day and I'm just putting this all over my face. And now I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Pure Mineral Color Corrector in the shade Orange, obviously. And I'm using a Sigma Concealer Brush to blend this out. I have successfully cleared up my acne, but I'm still working on clearing up my scarring. So I've been having to use Color Corrector just to give me a little bit of extra coverage so I don't have to do two layers of foundation. So before I apply my foundation, I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm giving my face a spritz of this. Um, it's winter, it's cold outside, and my skin gets dried out even though I do normally get super oily. And so I found that giving my face a spray of this before I put on my foundation really helps keep me like moisturized and keeps my makeup looking fresh throughout the day. And I didn't show my foundation, but I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 111. And I didn't show it in this video because I was trying to hurry up and get the foundation on my skin. It's really important to apply your foundation while the Fix Plus is still wet because it just helps it blend out so beautifully and it gives your face like a beautiful finish. To highlight my skin, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan, which has by far been like my absolute favorite shade of this concealer. I switch shades a lot in this concealer, but I think that I have definitely found the one. And I'm blending this out with my Sigma 3D HD Blender. So you guys, I have finally, finally, finally re-upped on my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I've been using my Laura Mercier and it's all right, but it's definitely no Sasha Buttercup. So I am so, so happy. And if you guys are interested in trying it, I do have my coupon code, which is Dell one So definitely go get it. And I'm just applying this over the areas that I highlighted. So next, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Ebony to add some definition back into my face. And I'm just applying this underneath my cheeks, around the perimeter of my forehead, and then I'm using any excess powder and just using that to shape up my nose a little bit. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Creamy Bronze Finish. And I had about four or five things of this and during my move I lost all of them. So this is a brand new thing of it and I'm so, so happy because this is like my absolute top powder ever. It keeps me like really matte throughout the day but it's not like overly drying or anything like that. It's just super beautiful, gives me a really smooth and like camera ready finish. 
So once I get all of that baking powder dusted away and get my face set with that Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder, I'm going to go in and finish up my eyes. So I took that Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Pen and I just placed a little bit under my eyes just to get the area wet. And then I went in with that loose glitter and then applied it to really make that glitter pop underneath my eyes. To coat my lower lashes, I'm taking my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara, which is new to the market. And you guys, it is so, so good. One of the best mascaras I've ever tried from Maybelline, and I really do love it. So once I finish up my eyes, it is time to add a little bit of glow to my face. And I'm going back in with that MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow that I used on my brow bone earlier in this video. And then I'm also going to add a little bit into my inner corner as well. For my lips today, I am first aligning with Max Cork Lip Pencil, which is definitely my go-to lip pencil. I guess I'm just using a lot of like my go-to products in this video, but it's definitely nothing wrong with that. If you find something that works, definitely use it. And for my gloss today, I'm going in with my Glam Glizzy Gloss, and this is her holographic one. She does have a lot of different colors, but today I'm just using the silver one because it ties in with my eye look perfectly. And just look at how the glitter picks up in this gloss. It is so, so beautiful, you guys. I will leave all of her information down below as well. She is a Memphian just like me, so make sure you guys definitely go check out her business. You won't regret it. And then after that, I am going to go in and add a few little beauty marks with my Kat Von D ink liner. A lot of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on how to do faux freckles and beauty marks with your makeup. And so I figured I would just tie in the beauty marks in this video. So basically, all I do is just take this liner and just give it a few little taps to my face to create the beauty mark. So that is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I've missed you all so, so, so much, and I'm so happy to be back on YouTube.